Listen, a malfunctioning panel is not a reason to immediately discard your copier and buy a new one. New machines are very expensive nowadays, so it's much more sensible to repair the device you already have and use the saved money for rollers, feed tires, toners, or drum unit refurbishment. If your service provider says the situation looks bad, they might be right. But it's worth knowing that sometimes a simple panel calibration is all it takes. It's a standard touch panel, and occasionally it just needs to be recalibrated. The best part is that you can do it yourself. See how easy it is. Enter the service mode, this time a bit different from the usual one. It might be interesting for you, as it's something completely new. If so, I'm glad I can teach you a few more useful tricks. Enter the panel service menu exactly as shown in the video. See? We're now in the service mode, but a completely different one than the one you usually use. There are nine adjustment options here, but there's no need to make things complicated. It's easy to change something by accident. We're only interested in option number one, so stay away from the other buttons to avoid misconfiguration. The system recognizes issues with the panel, so you need to drag the cursor with your finger to the indicated positions. Follow exactly what I'm doing, and we'll get through the process without any trouble. Touch the indicated spots carefully and step by step. Follow the markers precisely and everything will work out. You're doing great. Now just press OK. Press Exit. And that's it. Your Ricoh copier is fully operational again. In this model, panel failures are very rare, but calibration is sometimes necessary. Everything should be working perfectly now. Our main star today was the Ricoh MPC-3003 copier, but this video wouldn't exist without my dear friend Marcin, who called me about the panel. Despite our extensive knowledge, we spent over 15 minutes figuring out how to calibrate the panel, and there was a lot of laughter as we realized we didn't quite remember the process. That's exactly why I made this video.